want to take some testimonies in Jesus' name. I want to call on our sister to read some testimonies. Impact a leadership class where Gebitodo taught us on how to relate with superiors, colleagues, and subordinates. In the teaching, God's servant explained how he usually thanks commercial motorcyclists when he's paying them for conveying him to his destination and stress the need for us to respect service providers even if we consider them lower than our status. One around, whether big or small. Something happened a few weeks back. I went to pick my baby from school. As a commercial motorcyclist dropped me, I paid him his money while genuflecting with my knees bent down in appreciation. I didn't know an elderly pastor was taking note of what I did. He followed me as motorcyclists. They said, because they always look down up, they are always looked down upon. Baba said he was touched and learned a new thing from my actions that day. Thank you, Pastor Gabi Todo, for allowing God to use you to build our character. This is from Gladys Agbo, RCN Embassy, Makodi. You can clap. <clears throat> Scholarship via the favor of God. Few months ago, while I connected online from my country afterwards, I was scheduled for an interview which is to grant me a scholarship after prayers were made by me, for me rather, by the Pesetas prayer band. I was connected to Pastor Gay Bitodo who prayed for me via a WhatsApp call. I have returned to testify that the Lord granted a request and I have been offered a 78.2% scholarship to study online. The prayer band coordinator strengthen all of you for the work ahead. This is from Sister Vivian Ode. Ulcer and pneumonia checked out by the power of God. You can clap. It's a place to appreciate the Lord. I'm thanking God for healing and delivering me from all. Sitodo administered communion and prayed for me. After that, I have not had cause to treat ulcer again. Can you appreciate the Lord for that? <laughs> Secondly, I was recently ill, and when I discovered that the, light, the illness was becoming more than what I thought, I had to go to the hospital, and God diagnosed or gave me to those counseling session on me, and I started sweating profusely. I felt like chains were loosed from my hands and legs. Since that day, I have not had another attack. And the symptoms have disappeared. Yes, clap. It's a good place to clap. My ribs and chest area. But after the prayers, I have not experienced any of this. I want to return all the glory to God. Please celebrate the Lord. Yes, you can take your seat. Thank you. Also brutalized by the anointing. This is from Vera Getchi, a graduate of Benue State University, now serving at Casina State NYC orientation camp. After receiving my call up later, I thought it necessary to officially inform Pastor. He asked about my him I had abandoned this right from my secondary school. It had intensified to a point where I couldn't sleep well at night, couldn't sit nor bend for long, neither could I be on the sewing machine for long. He asked if he could pray for me, and I obliged because I was feeling the pains on my chest as we were talking. During the prayers, the power of God knocked me down, and I felt something creeping out of my chest. When I got up, I looked for the pain, and I couldn't find a trace. You will look for that pain, and you will not find it in Jesus' name. Pastor Gabi Todo asked me to begin doing what i couldn't do before i began bending up and down severally and to my shock the pain was no way i slept like a baby that night for the first time in many days and that is how it has been to date i return all the praises and glory to god for this miracle in my life finally 
deliverance from masturbation and spirit wife. I want to testify about the deliverance power of God. I thank God for setting me free from the yoke of spiritual wife and masturbation. I've been suffering some serious spiritual sexual molestations since I was a child. The woman would come to me in a dream and I would wake up wet, feeling empty and worthless. And that is how I lost my prayer life too. And Pastor Joseph Akogo, it's been weeks now. I have never had the experience again. And my prayer life has been revived. <laughs> Glory to God. Thanks to you, RCN Youth Ministry, Paysetters, for providing us this platform wherein we can assess the help and mercy of God. May the Lord continue to bless the Paysetters as Paysetters Coordinator as he has found it as a tool to set youths at liberty for his names for his name's sake this is from a brother on site i'd like us to bend down our heads just bend your heads wherever you are and appreciate the lord for these testimonies even as he's going and father we thank you we give you all the praise we ask that even in this service you will multiply these testimonies many that come in with pain will receive their healings in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I appreciate the Lord, Cloud.